Hey man, what's good YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Hey look. You already know what time it is when we react to her. You know what I'm saying? Hey look. Reacting to the science support No Nut November. Now. No, 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 no November, bruh. I felt that shit, bruh. I felt that shit the fucking first minute of it, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, so let me see how I feel that bit. Right, let me see what's, I thought my screen record going to end, bit, but shit, all right, so let me tell you, I was beating my shit October 31st, right? I was like, yeah, let me get, let me get like, it It was like 11.58. And see me, I nut fast. So you know what I'm saying? I, I got off a quick nut. And I got it off right in time. I got it off at 11.59. I was like, fuck, bro, I got the urge to do it again. Do, do it again, bit. I finished before 12 o'clock, bro. I, I, I nut twice under two minutes. Right? It hit, it was like 12 o'clock. I was like, nah, bro. I need to do it one time, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I got fail, bro. I, I fuck, fuck, fuck. If I fail, I fail, fuck. Did shit again, bro. Let's, let's get right to the video, bro. It's technically no nut November. I'm Dr. Turn it up. I'm turning it up. Urologist and pelvic surgeon. And I'm finally going to talk to you guys about no nut November or semen retention. If you're new here, I talk about all sorts of things, sexual health, urologic health, bladder health, and Thank much, you. much more. Make sure you make her your girlfriend. You subscribe and share this channel. She's seen hella smart. And she's a, she's a, like she's a type of like if you have a small dick, bro, she'll still fuck with you. No cap, bro. Hey. Hey. So what exactly is known nice. as November? Well, it's a practice of avoiding ejaculation for the whole month of November. I don't know that how niggas do it, bro. By no fap. This no shit is hard. It's actually a website that offers resources and a community for people who are struggling with porn addiction. They do talk about abstinence for some short period of time from certain types of sexual activities, but avoidance of certain types of sexual activities or porn yeah, watching see, is part the thing of about her that I don't like, bro. They recommend as far as I click on the video for one thing. But that is she goes on talking about another thing about. that I don't they care about. Trying to help like right now, I don't know what she's talking about right now. It's been around for a long period of time. In fact, ancient Taoist literature discussed semen retention as a way of self-control. They believed yeah. that ejaculating was actually losing self-control. That's something I don't have, bro. I always felt my November, bro. I always been feeling that shit. No cap. Semen retention as a so way of self-control. Yep. They believed that ejaculating was actually losing control of oneself and keeping it in, or semen retention, was actually a way to improve health and control of your body proponents of semen retention say there are so many benefits to having increased mental clarity increased concentration having better quality sperm increased testosterone is that true and happier relationships and so much more but is it backed by science is doing this safe or yeah. can it potentially harm you make sure you stick around till the end of the video where i talk about my thoughts on semen retention the interesting thing about semen retention is it's actually in this specific no nut november is recommended not to ejaculate that is very distinct from not having an orgasm so they, huh? people will start and try to have orgasms without ejaculating you guys can have orgasms process. so they'll do things like that only females can essentially the stop and start technique that we talk about for premature ejaculation or they will do things like try to force retrograde ejaculation by huh? pushing on the perineum and forcing ejaculate to go back into the bladder oh. feel that this allows them to have better orgasms and potentially multiple orgasms and longer sex niggas who do that is going on sad i'm going to talk a bit about the small amount of data that we have on this oh. practice and then after that i'll talk about a little bit about the potential harms associated with semen retention first let's talk about the thought that it increases testosterone so this is a very small study that was done on 10 men in the ages of 22 to 29 and what they did was they had these men on day zero i'm sorry bro i'm sorry bro but nigga, if you're over fucking 20 but you're still beating me but you're going all sad bro go outside and get some pussy bro <laughs> No, bro. The film was the first 20 minutes and the last 20 minutes were like... <laughs> no, bro. You can't be over 20 with no pussy, bro. In the middle 20 minutes, they showed them pornographic material. And they encouraged them or asked them to masturbate and orgasm. They mm -hmm. then had them abstain for 21 days from any sort of ejaculation. On the 21st day, they again showed them the same video. During these videos, they monitored their heart rate. 
rate and blood pressure continuously, and they also measured some blood levels for... That's crazy. He walked. See, that means they're watching porn in front of people. I could never do that shit. That shit looking weird, bro. No cap. I gotta be alone. Every 10 minutes, and the whole process took about an hour. They also asked people to fill out questionnaires about how sexually aroused they were and the quality of their orgasm. Like, how intense was it? How long was it? And they captured all that information. What they found was that this period of 21 days of abstinence didn't affect any of the physiologic changes that we expect to see during arousal and masturbation orgasm. All those remained the same. They did find, however, that people had better sexual arousal, subjectively felt like they were more aroused, and had huh? longer duration and more intense orgasms after that Bro, she's using these big-ass words, bro. I don't know what she's talking about. If you look at baseline levels of testosterone, that they actually increased from the 20 minute mark onward during that second period after they're using these big ass words. I had never heard the word onward before. What the hell does onward mean? Does that even make a big How is this? The thought behind why this happened is that these people probably were more aroused or more enhanced after having these anticipatory cues of the, the video that was coming, the pornographic material, and they got excited. Okay. More so because they had been abstinent for 20 days. What about sperm quality? Well, there's one meta-analysis that looked at this. All of the studies that were included needed to look at men who were dropping off a semen analysis after a certain period of time during which they were abstinent. And they required Bro, I have to no idea what she's fucking talking about. Am I still recording? And there were two things that they yep. found that increased with longer abstinence or greater than five days of abstinence. And that was sperm count and semen volume. The semen volume was studied in 17 studies, and out of those 17 studies, 15 found a significant correlation of increasing abstinence time with an increase in volume. And in 11 studies that looked at sperm count, 100% of them saw an increase in sperm count after abstinence. So generally, mm -hmm. what do I take away from... So we nut more when we don't beat our meat? Why would I want that? I ain't trying to have kids. Young, men. That, that, so that gives you a higher chance of having everybody. kids if you know That's more. Not really sure. As far as sperm parameters, we know that holding off for a couple of days is actually recommended in men who are infertile. We actually recommend that and what? during the ovulatory period when you're trying to conceive that you have sex every two days rather than doing it every day because sperm parameters do increase when you have a little bit of delayed time between ejaculations. So what do I think yeah, about semen see. retention or no see, nut November? I beat my shit every day, bro. So my shit get no break, but I be beat my shit over 10 times a day. My, 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 my penis is tired. Well, I think if you're getting benefits from participating in no nut November, <sighs> you're feeling more clear, you're having deeper relationships, you're feeling like you're more excited about being with your partner and you're getting more clarity, that's great. Go ahead and do it. Do, not ejaculating doesn't have any harmful consequences that we know of. Your body will essentially resorb the semen that you don't ejaculate out. And so it's not a problem if you haven't ejected for a certain period of time. However, there are some concerns that I do have. One is that when you're going through this process, Wait, so we're supposed you're to beat our meat? really focus on having orgasms without ejaculation, you can get very fixated on that prospect. You can get very fixated on edging, and it can be very hard to have a relationship, a very meaningful, important sexual relationship with a partner because you're very fixated on yourself. It can also cause a lot of stress and anxiety to go through No Nut November. As I mentioned in my previous video on masturbation, there's a oh, yeah, number to of that benefits shit. to masturbation, including better sleep, decreased heart rate, decreased stress, and a lot of increase in feel-good hormones. The other thing that I worry about is that people can get a lot of pain and discomfort in their pelvic floor or their testicles. A lot of you guys have heard of blue balls. In fact, oh. there's very little data on this in the scientific literature. Beginning it's called a lot. epididymal hypertension. And the reason being is that during arousal, you get increased blood flow to the testicles as well as everything else. Oh, that's why they call it blue balls. That's decreased after you ejaculate. But if you don't ejaculate, that increased pressure stays around and can what we perceive as or what men perceive as blue balls and for some she's people, smart i like her painful, i want a girlfriend like her can last for quite a bit nice. period of time we also sometimes nice. see men who have elevated pelvic floor tone huh? in men who don't masturbate or how long is the video for long seconds that was still recording because they're building up yep. all this stress and tension in their pelvic floor that can result in pain and while there's no data on this we'll sometimes 
sometimes recommend that these men masturbate two or three times a week just to help with that pain. So Bro, I think if you're gonna try I beat, I beat my shit two or three times a <laughs> two or three times an hour. <laughs> no, two or three times every ten minutes. I'm going on sad, low key, bro. It's not realistic. It can actually really affect your brain and the way you perceive sex and the way you have relationships with other people. So if you want to try something new for November, try to hold off on pornography rather than holding. I already felt that shit. That shit's already done for. I'm about to go beat my shit after I'm done with this video. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's in the video. But make sure you like, make sure you like, I'm subscribing about this video.